Next uh, question number 73, M limited a registered supplier supplying taxable as well as exempted goods provides following turnover details for the month of August 2021. So, this is the details of the goods and details of input tax credit paid on capital goods for the month of August 2021 are as under. So, this is the details and capital goods used for both taxable as well as exempted goods determine the credit of capital goods attributable for the tax period. So, here we have something like 17 subsection 1, 17 subsection 2, we need to understand the apportionment of credit. Okay. So, section 17 talks about apportionment of credit and block credit. In that 17 subsection 1 says that if inward supply is partly used for taxable and partly, sorry, partly used for business and partly used for non business purpose, only to the proportionate to business we can take the credit. And same way, when inward supply is partly used for taxable outward supply and partly used for exempt and outward supply proportionate to taxable only you can take the credit okay now how this proportionate credit can be taken for that purpose we have rule 42 and rule 43 rule 42 is in case of inputs and input services rule 43 is in case of capital goods what does rule 43 says rule 43 says first you take the credit on capital goods fully even though it is partly used for taxable partly used for exempt eh? first you take the credit and thereafter over a period of 60 months, you need to reverse the credit. So, to what extent you need to reverse the credit? To the extent of exempted to total. Okay. For example, April month we purchased some capital goods for 10 lakhs and the GST paid on that capital goods is 1 lakh 20,000. So, that 1 lakh 20,000 you take as credit now itself. Okay. In the event of April. Now, starting from April, for the next 60 months, you find out the monthly ITC. What is the monthly ITC? 1,20,000 divided by 60. So, you will be getting monthly ITC that is 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. In that 2,000 rupees into exempted turnover of that month divided by total turnover of that month, you need to reverse the ITC. Clear or not? So, now, should I follow this for 60 months? There is no hard and fast rule that we need to follow 60 months because in rule 43, they use the word up to 60 months. So, which means that I can take it even for 24 months or I can even take it for 48 months also. So, there is no hard and fast rule. So, therefore, 60 months is given. What if the life of the capital goods is more than 5 years? 60 months means what? The logic here is 5 years. Suppose if the life of the capital goods is more than 60 months, then also we can take only 60 months. And if the life of the capital goods is less than 60 months, can we reduce it? Yes. So then don't ask me 2 months, 3 months because capital goods itself means, so which is capitalized in the books. When you will capitalize in the books, definitely the benefit arising out of that is more than a year, correct? So therefore, 3 months, 4 months and all we cannot do. So therefore, usually in the absence of information in the question, we will take 60 months. Suppose if the question says 48, then 48 months, okay. So now, what is the 60 months? For a period of 60 months, what we need to do? We need to calculate monthly ITC into exempted turnover of that month divided by total turnover of that month, we need to reverse. First, we will take the credit and every month we will reverse, okay. Now, on this, there is an interest also at the rate of 18% per annum, but that particular interest is not given in the study material. So, do not bother about that interest, but there is an interest 18% per annum from the date of availment till the date of reversal, but that about that interest under rule 43, you do not bother. So, how to calculate rule 43, that only our focus should be, okay. So, common credit divided by 60 months into exempted turnover of that month divided by total turnover of that month is the reversal. So, full common credit we will take, okay. What is common credit? Credit. So, partly used for taxable, partly used for exempted, partly used for business and partly used for non-business purpose. Okay. Now, in this case, for the month of August 2021, so they purchased three capital goods. Okay. They purchased three capital goods for the month of August 2021. Capital goods exclusively used for supplying exempted goods. Can we take credit? No. If the invert supplies is exclusively used for exempted, don't take credit. If the invert supplies are exclusively used for non-business, don't take credit. If it is used exclusively for taxable, take full credit. If it is used exclusively for business purpose, also take full credit. When it is partly for business, partly for non-business, partly for taxable, partly for exempted, then you will take the proportionate credit. Okay. So, now in this case, credit of capital goods exclusively used for supplying exempted goods. Can we take this credit? No, we cannot take this credit. Then, 
Credit on capital goods exclusively used for supplying taxable goods. Can we take credit? Yes. So, we can take credit with respect to this. And should we do any reversal? No. Exclusively used for taxable, no need to do the reversal. The reversal is applicable only with respect to common capital goods. Okay. Then credit of capital goods exclusively used for supplying goods for non-business purpose. No. Non-business purpose, you cannot take the credit. So, therefore, in only with respect to this 45,000, 45,000 and 90,000, the credit can be taken. Okay. Then, apart from this, some more capital goods are also purchased. So, in the month of August 25th, so see this, capital goods A, so is purchased on January 2021. Right now, they are asking for which month? August 2021. So, Jan 2021 means the credit would have been already taken for Jan 2021 itself. But what goods it is? What capital goods it is? It is used for both supply of taxable as well as exempted goods. Which means that it is common capital goods. It is purchased in Jan month. Pa. Now for August month what we will do? We will do the proportionate reversal for August month. Okay. So for this proportionate reversal only we will do. Then capital goods B purchased in which month? April 2021. So, therefore, in August month, what we will do? We will do proportionate reversal for that month, okay? Then, with respect to capital goods, see, purchased in August month, can we take this credit fully? Even though it is used for both taxable and exempted, can we take the credit? Yes, you take the credit. Full credit you take, but you need to do the reversal. You need to do the reversal for this month, okay? August month. So, now, first we need to see how much credit will be taken, availed, okay? So, say this, 45,000. 45,000. Then with respect to C, 41,040, 41,040. This is the credit that will be availed. Understood? This is the credit that will be availed. So, this is the availed credit. Then, what is the credit that will be reversed? So, first common credit you need to take. 1,14,480. 1,14,480 is the common credit. So, that common credit, any months given information given in the question? No. So, therefore, 1,14,480 divided by 60, you will get monthly ATC into exempted turnover divided by total turnover, you need to reverse, okay. So, first, what is the exempted turnover? Please see the question. What is the exempted turnover? 5 lakhs. What is the total turnover? 12 lakhs plus 5 lakh 50 plus 5 lakhs. That is, you know, 22 lakh 50,000. So, what is the exempted to total ratio? Pa? Exempted to total ratio? 5 lakhs divided by 22,50,000, we need to do the reversal, okay. So, now, so please take your calculator, do the calculation and tell me, 1,14,480 divided by 60 into, into, so 5 lakhs divided by 22,50,000, how much you got number? How much you got the number? So, you will be getting... So, 1,908 into this by this, 456 you should be getting, okay. 456 rupees you will be getting here. So, this 456 rupees you need to reverse. So, what we need to do? First, we need to take the credit. What is the credit that we have availed? 45,000, 45,000, 41,040, 41,040, that is 86,040. From this 86,040 minus 456, so we need to take the remaining credit, okay. So, this is the way in which we need to do. First, you need to take the credit and then you need to reverse the credit. So, these three things we need to take monthly ITC. How to take monthly ATC? Total ATC divided by 60 will be monthly ATC. So, that into E by F. What is E by F? Exempted to total. So, exempted turnover divided by total turnover. So, here interest computation is not required because usually at CA final study material they have not given interest. So, that is why you can ignore. Suppose if at all it is asked also simple 18% per annum from the date of availment till the date of reversal. Okay.